The Latin vowel forms the meat of each word, and you can't have a word or a syllable in Latin without a vowel. Each vowel comes in long and short forms, and you'll be able to differentiate between these with the long mark, called a macron, which is Greek for long, placed over the vowel. Beware though, macrons aren't always placed over vowels in all books, since macrons weren't invented until well after the classical period. So here's how each vowel sounds in its corresponding long and short forms. We'll start with A. When the A is long, it's like the A ah in father. When short, it's an uh, as an idea. So this is the difference between how you would pronounce the words puela and puela. The long E is an A, like the vowel sound in date. The short E is an E in bet. So you can hear the difference in the words habere and ducere. The I when long sounds like the E in machine. When short, it's an I as in sit. The long I is at the end of laudawi, and the short I is at the end of laudawit. The long O is an O as in holy. The short O is an A as in off. The length of the O is the difference between the words pompa and pompeius. The U when long is an U sound like in hoot. The short U sounds like U uh, as in foot. Manus and manus. Finally, the Y sounds like the vowel in the French word tu or in the German uber. This vowel was borrowed from the Greeks and is often used only in Greek words in place of the upsilon. Apparently, Latin speakers also had problems pronouncing this vowel correctly and its sound changed to more like an E. Nevertheless, we should try to pronounce it in the classical way. So, turanus. Apart from these vowel sounds, though, there are also combinations of vowels called diphthongs. A diphthong occurs when two vowels merge together to fill up one syllable space. So you end up pronouncing each vowel, but you don't pronounce them separately. So here, let me illustrate. The most common diphthong in Latin is the A-E. We pronounce this I. And if you listen very carefully in I, you can hear that the A merges with the E. I. So we lie. The other diphthongs in Latin are E-I, pronounced A, as in dende, O-E, which is oi in poina, E-U, which is eu in seu, A-U, which is au, as in aurum, and U-I, which is wi, like in huic. Diphthongs, because they are two vowel sounds in one, are always considered to be long syllables, and this concept becomes very important in studying Latin poetry.